Natalie and Bruce. Her debut single, Torn, stormed the charts. Uh, her album, Left of the Middle, was a huge success. I guess it is a bit of a pressure, isn't it, following up a big success like Torn? Oh, definitely. With new I was really, really depressed a lot of the time. Natalie Imbruglio hears the song. It's a beautiful song. She's all recorded. Yeah. And it becomes a number one song. So what was Torn Gate all about? What's your Torngate. version of it? I never said I wrote Torn. Right. And I never said that Torn was written for me. It was written by Edna Swap. Mm -hmm. and Phil Finale. Although only brief interactions occurred between them, these four people have one central connection, a song that changed their lives. This is the story of... Why do you think that Wembley crowd is still going mad for you and still going mad for torn. I mean, a lot of those people wouldn't have even been born when it was a hit. Excuse me. What? A couple of songwriters that um, I, I knew in America, they wanted to get a record deal, and um, this was when I was really cold, so so nobody wanted to hire me. Um, Scott. What, what, one of the writers uh, said we want to make uh, some demos for Aaron and uh, so they came over from California to my home studio which is in West Hampstead and one of the songs that was written was Torn. My conversation has run dry That's what's going on Nothing's fine I'm torn I'm all out of faith This is how write this song torn and you sing it beautifully I mean like an angel like with heart perfect song and it doesn't go anywhere but Edna Swap probably knew there was something special about this song since they included it on several records even recording two different versions of it Other musicians and producers also saw the song's potential as covers were already being recorded around this period. So all these versions were being recorded. I've been around this once before, you know, had hit records, and then I was thrown. Then I was cold and nobody wanted to work with me. In the 80s, Phil had produced many records and was also part of The Cure for a couple of years, playing this awesome bass line. <laughs> I'm in Australia! You were in Neighbours. That shows the reason that I was able to come to the UK. There was a three year gap in between quitting Neighbours and relaunching as a singer. Was there a reason for this? Um, initially I was hoping to not have any gaps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wanted it to kind of go on to the next stage. My, my struggles in London came when I started running out of money and right. I couldn't get any acting work and I was confused about my career and my life and what I wanted to do. So it wasn't intentional at the beginning, but in hindsight it was probably the best thing because I had time to think about what I really wanted to do and started songwriting and, you know, committed to making a record, so. I eventually got a, a publishing deal and the publisher, who Mark Fox, um, he had, he'd had a meeting with Natalie and, she, and he said, why don't you two get together? I think Torn would work. We spent probably two weeks working on a demo with Natalie, um, like just going over and over the lines, re-recording the song. I thought I saw a man brought to life. When he was warm, he came around like he was dignified. He showed me what it was to cry. It really talks about a heartbreak and loss, but the way that you sing it mm -hmm. is just so comforting and so compelling. I wanted to sing it and I wanted to put all of myself into it so I don't know I just I really believed in the song and um, just tried to kind of make it my own and, and, and sing it with meaning you know and mm -hmm. I think that's hopefully what came across you know. The way she sings it as well as some changes in the chords and production gives it a much brighter and radio friendly sound.
wrote the words? You wrote them. I wrote the words. Yeah, they're good words. Well, you, wait a minute. You said I heard she... you guys dissecting them the other day. Yeah. You guys got one thing wrong, though. What, what, what? Well, you guys were saying that it's like a, about a girl being dumped. Right. But the end of the chorus, you're a little late, I'm already torn. Right. He comes back, he wants her back. Where does this song come from? The depths of my evil, depressed soul, I guess. Right, right. No, I, you know, just from experience. It's not, you know, it doesn't even have to be about a boyfriend. It's just. Oh, I see. It, well, it's about Everything being is disillusioned. Yeah. Yeah. I love this song. <laughs> Has it changed for you now, the meaning of it, or the sound of it, or has it developed in any way? A little bit. I think it's weird because it's a really sad song, and when I first did it, I was in this really depressed space. And now. It's done so much for me that I guess it's kind of more of a positive thing when I sing it, which is kind of weird because it's a sad song. It's not just the song that's iconic, it's the video clip as well. Tell me about that young woman 25 years ago. What do you see when you see her? It's so bizarre because um, back when there was money in the music industry, they had this big boardroom of stylist books out there and like, who do you want to work with? And I said, well, can I, can I just wear my own clothes? Because I didn't want them to see my silhouette. I was like really paranoid about being put in a dress or something. And, and um, they just let me. I think that T-shirt was like Portobello Road Market. Well, it's a bit of a daggy outfit, but I think it was just authentic. Video making is really fun, especially because probably I started in acting, so it's my chance to do a little bit of acting. Um, my favourite video is the torn video by far, because it was the most fun to make. Because I wanted to do film and I'm passionate about that, I, when I was looking at treatments, I was like, I want to do like something filmic. I don't want to just do some, I don't want dancers in my video. And so I've made the best video of my career, the first one. And then we finished early. I've never ever since then or ever heard of any video shoot finishing early. So I just think you put those things down to a bit of magic, really. So I guess the fortune turns Should have seen just what was there and that's some holy light. I mean, on the radio, it's been on the television, it's been absolutely everywhere. Um, torn. Do you mind if I ask this? How old are you? 23. It is impossible not to feel good when you hear Torn <laughs> or to sing along. I was going around the world scooping up awards. I mean, who's not going to enjoy that? Natalie Imbruglia. Natalia Imbruglia. Natalie Imbruglia. Cool. Natalie Imbruglio hears the song. It's a beautiful song. She's I'll record it. Yeah. And it becomes a number one song. Yeah. Now, do you get, do you well, feel, do I'll you get you, angry? I'll tell you. In the beginning, it was definitely bizarre and a little bit depressing and sort of surreal. Right. To hear like my words coming out of somebody else's mouth and in like a setting that is not the way I would have done it. The fact that everybody had an expectation of me after that first album to live up to that and that I found really hard. That's probably the hardest part. So it makes you feel tall? <laughs> oh. It just be like playing on every station. I went from zero to hero. I, I, I went from being nobody calling me to having major labels in the US offering me artists. Anne and Scott were receiving royalties from the song and it also helped them find their path, but they were still struggling to get record deals. This changed a few years later, once again, thanks to Torn. I was hiking with my friend and trying to come up with a way to get a new record deal. I'm like, we need a new record deal. Like nobody's really interested. We're getting a little older now. We just need some luck. We need luck. And then I get in my car right when I turn on the radio, Howard's on and I hear him say something about my band. And I was like, what is going on? And I thought he was going to make a joke. Like, cause I just thought of him as like, he was going to take the piss and somehow he had heard it over his Christmas break. Somebody gave it to him. And I, I have a theory that like he was getting divorced. He heard that song, that song connected to him in some weird way. He was obsessed with it. The fact that it was kind of heavy and grungy really worked for him because he likes rock. He just kept talking about the song and playing the song, obsessing on the song. Then we get a call, you know, do you want to come on the show? <laughs> and this is pre zoom and all that. Right. So, yeah. So we get on a plane that night. Wednesday night, and we're on the show Thursday morning at like, you know, six in the morning. That was incredible. I, I love the sadness. I love the whole, I love the whole sound of it. Perfect song. Um, I really don't know. I mean, how can you explain a song connecting like that? I don't, I, I, I don't know. I'm so grateful that it did. Um, and I made a promise to myself when this happened that I'm going to be singing this song for a long time. So I want to make friends with it. And I'm still friends with it.
I hope you enjoyed the video. Quick note to talk about Brilliant, the best way to learn maths, computer science, or data science in a like engaging and interactive way. Brilliant customizes the courses based on your skill level so that you can go at your own pace depending on your past experience. For example, if you're into artificial intelligence or machine learning, or you want to learn the behind the scenes of how something like ChatGPT works, Brilliant will help you to understand the fundamentals of algorithms, data, Python. It's a really fun platform to learn new stuff with thousands of lessons going from basic to advanced, and every month, new lessons are added. If any of these topics sound interesting to you, go to brilliant.org slash three minutes, or you can use the link in the description, and you'll get a free trial for 30 days. And if ever you're one of the first 200 people to use the link, you'll also get a discount of 20% on the annual premium subscription. Thank you so much to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.